Hi, in this video, we're going to be working in Chapter 6, Section 3. This is the chapter where we learn how to make uh, probability statements about random variables that are free to have um, any mean and uh, any standard deviation. So um, I'm going to start with uh, the example in the notes rather than beginning with the, um, there's a bunch of text uh, uh, explanations and words. I'm just gonna um, start with the picture and work through those ideas um, in the example. Okay, so we have um, a variable X that has a mean of three and a standard deviation of two. So what we would like to know is, um, what does it look like? What is the probability that X is less than four? Okay, so let's just draw the picture of the problem. So we'll say we're looking for the probability that X is less than four, and here is that. So if the center is three, then four is gonna be somewhere over here. And we are looking for the probability that X is less than four, less than, is associated with um, a left tail. Okay, so this is the picture of the problem. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a transformation um, from X to Z. Okay, and um, that transformation is actually found on the formula sheet. There's only two formulas on chapter six, and it's the one that um, the one that we're going to use is right now z equals x minus mu divided by sigma. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to use this transformation to shift um, the value of x. That would be four shift and then scale. So it shifts the X values and it scales the X values so that the new distribution, um, so that into a Z distribution, right? And so we just spent last week learning about um, how to do calculations for a Z distribution. So what we're gonna do is learn how to translate questions from the X world Put them on this Z bus here. So it takes them from X to Z. Um, and, uh, and restate the problem in the Z world. Okay, so we're gonna begin with um, just translating four over with the mean from a distribution with the mean of three and a standard deviation of two to a z-score. So let's go ahead and do that. We really don't need to indicate the mean over there. So I just took it away so that the picture was clearer. All right, so z is equal to x, which is your delimiting value, minus mu, which is sitting right up here where you want it to be, divided by the standard deviation. Okay, so we get one over two, and it is a z-score. We write it to two decimal places. And what we see is that four is, so is um, what half a standard deviation above the mean. That is its z-score is 0 0.50. And that is the interpretation. Okay, so now, the problem about X got put on the Z bus and it moved from the X world to the Z world. And it gets restated as a problem about Z. Okay, so let's go ahead and, um, and finish this problem up. I don't think the notes actually uh, leave you enough space there. So maybe on the side. Okay, so we're looking for a left tail and we have a strategy for looking for left tails. Um, we're given a z-score looking for an area. So the table will be used directly and it's gonna be one direct lookup. So go ahead and take out your formula card, please. Find your table 
And we're going to go ahead and find that value. And I'm getting 6.6915. That is the probability that a z-score is less, is less than 0.5. And that is also the probability that this, that the variable x is less than four. Okay. So just like when we were working in, um, with the standard normal distribution, and we had three different kinds of probabilities, we would use the table directly to find a left tail, a right tail, and a bounded region. So as we get the problems we, you know, in the X world, they're sort of gonna be the same kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, move to um, another problem from the notes. It, Okay, so we're going to look at the um, problem that says for a general normal random variable x with a mean of minus two and a standard deviation of four, find the probability that x is greater than minus three. Okay, so that's the statement of the problem. And what I want to do before we get too much into the actual statement of the question is I want to draw a template for how we're going to work these um, general normal random variable questions. We'll always work with the two bell method. Okay. And so the bell on the left is the X bell. And the bell on the right is the standard normal. So you can kind of set them up like this. And here um, you'll, you can record your uh, display, your mean and your standard deviation, whatever the problem is. And the problems that we're doing right now when we're looking for probabilities and using the table directly, we'll always use this. There's only two formulas in uh, chapter six. So this one, so he's going to use this one. We're going to be taking, having some kind of X score and it's going to go on a bus. It's going to go on the bus and come off the bus as a Z score. Okay, so it's kind of like being beamed to some like parallel universe where the mean is shifted and the standard deviation is shifted and everybody's standard, right? And so then um, what we'll do is we're just going to always look at the problems kind of like this. So let's go ahead and um, take the specific question we're working with, which is the probability that x is greater than minus 3. So the mean is here at minus 2, and minus 3 is in this direction. Okay. All right. So what I want to do is I want to translate, and I'm looking for a right tail greater than. So the greater that indicates that the tail is to the right. Okay, and so we're gonna put this minus three on the Z bus, um, express it to two decimal places and then put it over there on the other graph. So we have minus three minus negative two, taking a little caution with the negative number um, and divided by sigma, which is four. Okay, and this gives us minus five, I'm sorry, <laughs> minus three plus two, minus one over four, and then zero, negative 0 0.25. Okay, so we're gonna take that z-score to two decimal places and graph it on the z, um, the z curve. And we're going to shade and add the question mark. Okay, so we are here 
if we ignore this whole part of the board, we are sitting in a problem that comes from section 6.2, right? I have, I want to find the, the area to the right of Z equals minus 0 0.25, a right tail, the strategy is one minus the direct lookup. So let's go ahead and calculate that, put it up on the board here. Uh, you can do it on your notes and then please check my work. Let me know if there's an error. I got for this table lookup mine um, 0 0.4404 do twice. Yeah, that's an error. Okay, uh, 0 0.4013. And so our final answer is 0.5987. That's the probability the Z score is greater than negative 0.25. It is also the probability that my X variable is uh, greater than minus three. Okay, so this is the full um, completed problem. This is, um, We'll be working in the structure, so we'll have a class activity uh, for you guys to write one of those up for me. Okay. So back in the notes, um, we want to look at uh, for a general normal random variable. So there's structure here. I'm going to erase the board to maintain some of the structure, right? Just to remind us how to set it up. Okay, so if I had uh, like a form to hand you to start the problem on. It would kind of uh, look something like this, right? So the problem that I'm, the next problem in the notes has a general normal variable with a mean of six and a standard deviation of four. Um, and we are looking to calculate the probability that X is between four and 11. So this is six, and so four is going to be a little bit in this direction, and 11 is going to be maybe like there. So delimiting values, shading, and question mark. So that's the problem, and let's just make sure everything is ready on this side. So now four and 11 both have to go in for transformation. So Z of four is equal four minus six over four. And that's minus two over four. Negative 0 0.50, okay. So that's gonna come out here Great, and now we're gonna go ahead and also uh, put 11 on the bus. 11 minus six divided by four, which is five over four, or 1.25. So let's bring that over to the Z and uh, put it on the Z curve here. area. Okay. So 
the equivalency here between the two problems is displayed in the picture. Probability that X is between 4 and 11 is equal to the probability that Z is between minus 0.5 and 1.25. So we're looking for the area of a bounded region, two direct lookups, and a subtraction. Okay, I'm going to put it on pause. We can all do that. All right, and I did my lookups, and I got um, for 1.25.8944 is the left tail area. And for negative 0 0.50, 3085. And the bounded region has an area equal to the difference. And so I get 5859.5859. And I know that that is equal to the area here that X is between um, four and six. Okay. Well, I wanna do one more example. And um, actually, I think the video is probably getting long. So let's stop here and I'll pick you up in the next part.